back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan, and today's video is going to be the 10 things that I have learned in college my freshman year. So I'm a freshman at Shippensburg University, which is a state school in Pennsylvania, and I came here because it was kind of like an out like not Altoona exactly, like not my hometown exactly, but it kind of like represented that there was like a downtown, and then if you go to like Chambersburg, they have like Panera, Chipotle, that kind of thing. It's more like an Altoona kind of area, and I also liked the class sizes, the campus, like everything was like great to me, and I love being here, I love this school, but there are some things that I have learned being here and being in college that I don't know if I was exactly, I would say, like ready for, for like the real world, and just for like people that are going into college that are like about to be freshmen, I just think that watching these videos before I came to college, I watched so many of these videos. So yeah, I just want to do like the top 10 things that I learned from college. So number one is it's not as bad as teachers in high school say it is. It's not that hard, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's like high school teachers are like, your professors never do this, your blah, 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 blah. college is going to be so much harder, so much work. And yes, it definitely is a lot more like coursework and like your work is going to be a lot more than it was in high school. But like if you email your professors, they like email you back. Like the professors here are very, very understanding. Um, I remember whenever I was going to New York, and I was going to miss um, one of my classes. We were having an online test that you had to take like proctored like in front of the professor. And I just emailed her and talked to her in class and she was like, oh yeah, as soon as you come back like that, like Wednesday, like we'll make it up, you'll be fine. And so like professors are very understanding. So like, I feel like my high school teachers made it seem like my, um, my college professors were so mean and they were never gonna like understand you as a person. But I would say like they're definitely like understanding and I mean you'll have some professors that are like very very strict but most of the time if you email them like it's not as bad as high school teachers say. Number two is it is hard to make friends. I have learned that it's hard to make friends. I would say that I am a I'd say I'm an extrovert like I'll definitely like just I can start a conversation with anyone like at any time but I was more scared of looking stupid or like desperate or something like reaching out and making friends. I have like my close friends which I would say are like my roommates and Olivia and then I also have like some other friends like that I hang out with here and there, eat dinner with here and there. It's hard to make friends because you are like anxious to reach out to people and people are anxious to reach out to you also so unless you both like one of you like grows a pair of, ball pair of balls and just like does it like you're never gonna like. Number three is long distance relationships work if you both put in the effort. Um, I've been with Jermaine as my like two videos ago is my um, our like boyfriend tag and we have been together now for almost three and a half years and we were together in high school and then he went to college and we stayed together and now I'm at college and we make it work because we want to. Like if you are with someone and both of you want to go out and party and both of you like always want to be like doing something else it's not gonna work like I'm just gonna be like straight up like it's not gonna work but if both of you like put in the effort and the time and like communication is key with long distance relationships especially whenever you're both in college so like Jermaine and I make it work because we want to it's pretty much all I have to say is like if you both want it it'll work out in your favor like you just have to want it number four this might be like an unpopular opinion or it might just be like the school that I go to but Parties aren't that fun. <laughs> like, I have been to some parties. I don't go out every weekend. I don't go out every night of the week. I don't go out Thursday through Sunday, like, Saturday. Like, I go out sometimes, and it's usually, like, if a big group of my, like, girlfriends are going out, and we have, like, a girls' night, or, like, I'll just go to, like, my roommates are on the soccer team. I'll just go to the soccer team for, like, the pregame, and then I'll usually come back to my room. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I just hate that you have to walk around like to get to like different parties like this is just like for my school for some schools like the parties might be awesome and like the greatest thing ever but you like get to a party and you're there for like 10-15 minutes and it's fun and they're like everyone leave or like the cops come or something like I just it's not that fun is what I'm trying to say and I don't drink that much so like I don't but like I still know how to f have ugh. but I can still have fun without being drunk but there's just like sometimes you go and like the music sucks if you're not with people that you know, like, it's just, like, weird. Like, you just feel like you're in a weird situation. Um, 
like I said, like they end in like 15 minutes. Um, what was really fun was like homecoming was really fun and like if there's an event or like a sports team that just won like those are fun But like if you're just like going out and you don't know where you're going and you're just walking around aimlessly Like I just I don't find that fun number five Um, I guess this is like what I learned as it like a tip is to join a club or like an intramural sp sports team or something like that so I um, went with my someone that I met at orientation Victoria we went to the intramural basketball like club meeting and her and I made a team and we got like all these people together so there was like 10 of us that actually like showed up to the games and stuff and um, I made like a lot of friends out of that and now like four of my friends from there five sometimes We'll go to like a kickbox cardio class and right now like we don't have any games right now But whenever we did some of us would like get dinner like after like before or after together We would shoot around together and like I've made like like I said like 10 friends just from doing that and like Obviously they're not gonna be your closest friends, but like just having them and like it also gets you to be active So join an intramural sports team is basically what I learned <laughs> number six is what I learned is to take advantage of the free gym membership basically um, it's not free but it's in your tuition and so you should go um, I go every day definitely take advantage of the gym I'm there like I said almost every single day like it's in your tuition to go so go like go just go make yourself go even if you go and you walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes you went you're paying for that so like why not go the seventh thing that I learned is it's okay to eat alone um that was one of the things that like first semester I was like oh my god like I can't eat unless I have someone to go eat with me but now most of the days I eat breakfast alone I go right from the gym and I get breakfast some days like I have a weird like schedule I go from 12 to 3 30 on Monday Wednesday Friday so like I have to eat before 12 and a lot of my like friends eat like after 12 and so like I usually have to go eat at like 11 30 so most of the time I'm eating lunch alone and dinner I usually don't really eat alone like out sometimes I'll grab something and bring it back to my room but like I feel like people are afraid to go out and eat alone because they don't want to be looked at like a loser but literally I go out and eat alone and there's always other people eating alone if I'm like being like honest and like truthful at breakfast there's usually more people eating alone than they are with other people number eight thing that I learned is well like a tip what I learned is like bring your car if possible I have my car here because it's like my car that I always had in high school my parents were like yeah you can take it to school like that's fine and so I have it here and number one reason why it's great is because if you need to go to Walmart you don't have to feel like you're like have to bum a ride off of your friends or if you want to go basically you don't you can go wherever you want around the town also without having to feel like you have to ask one of your friends like can you please take me to walmart or i need like you know what i mean and two number reason number two that it's nice is because like i go home and work some weekends and so it's nice to be able to like right after class just get in my car and head right home instead of having to have my instead of ma having to make my parents drive up here and get me and then take me back and then bring me back on Sunday like it's just like it saves everyone gas and time to just have it here to be able to go home but if you're someone that you don't think you're gonna go home that much on the weekends or like go home only like for breaks then you might not feel the need to bring your car sometimes colleges don't even let freshmen bring their car so that's another thing too so if you can bring your car if it's possible for you to bring it I would say definitely bring it Alright, tip number nine, or ninth thing that I learned, I don't know, these are like tips what I learned, um, is to always have headphones with you, um, I hate walking to class without headphones, like, I hate, like, hearing other people, I don't know, I just like to, like, have my music playing in my ears and just, like, be going, um, if you're waiting in line for food, it's nice to have your headphones, and also that way, like, if you're, like, checking your Snapchat stories or something, like, right before class starts if you still have some time before class starts or like I said if you're like waiting in line for food or just like walking around campus having headphones and like you watch a snapchat video and you have to be like this just to hear it so that other people you don't make it loud for everyone else it's so much better just to have headphones in and just be able to like play it be able to play it and hear it at the same time <laughs> what I learned number 10 and I did not learn this personally like I said I've been in a relationship for three and a half years but I live with three girls and have friends that are in college also and if you're not in a relationship in college don't try to make something work 
Like, this is complete, this is literally the complete opposite of what I said about, like, if you have a long-distance relationship, put in the effort, whatever. This is, like, the complete opposite of that, is if you're going into college, not in a relationship, don't try to force a relationship. In college, what I've heard from, like, all my friends, like, I am a very good listener, and I'm very good at giving advice and, like, being there for you, so, like, I have experience, like, with this, with, like, every girl that I know, basically. So, <laughs> I just try to help as much as I can, is that... Boys in college just want to have sex with you. They don't really want a relationship. This isn't every boy, but this is what has literally, like, I've heard from all of my friends. Is, and I've put together this conclusion. Boys just want to have sex with you, but then they'll make up all these excuses as to why they can't have a relationship. Oh, I'm focusing on school. I'm focusing on, like, if they're on a sports team. Um, I'm not ready for a relationship right now. I, like, don't want to have to deal, like, whenever we're on breaks and stuff like that. So, like, boys will make up all these excuses, but they still want to, like, hook up with you. And then girls are more sensitive. Not all girls. Like, most girls are more sensitive and they see, like, if you're going to, like, come over here to my room all the time and, like, be, like, having sex with me, like, then you should be my boyfriend. Like, I don't know. This is, like... From what I have experienced with my friends is that the girls always want a relationship and the boys never want to give that to them. So what I'm trying to say basically is relationships don't work in college most of the time if you're making it in college. Now like in my circumstance like my relationship has been, was made like two years before college. So we were good and we made the effort but if you're going into college single and trying to make a relationship just from what I've seen it doesn't really work so people that are thinking like oh the college boys are so much nicer like I'm gonna find a nice boy in college you're not really <laughs> like you're not like one in ten I would say maybe I don't even know if I would say one in ten one in twenty boys in college do not want relationships at all Maybe, like, junior or senior year, they might start slowing down, basically, is what I'm, how I'm going to put it. And maybe want to settle down. But, yeah, I'm going to say, like, 1 out of 20 boys in college actually, like, want to find a relationship. So, with all of that being said, um, I hope I kind of helped you out there with what college is really like, I guess. Like, I just wanted to give you, like, 10 different things that I've learned slash tips kind of the same go hand in hand of what I've learned in college so far I mean this is only my freshman year so I'm sure I'm gonna learn so much more so I hope this was helpful for you if you have any other questions like at all you can either leave a comment down below or you can reach out to me on my social media I will have all my social media listed below so it's easy to find me and obviously if you know me personally you can always text me I like to FaceTime whatever you want to do but yeah, that is it for this video, and if you liked it, remember to give it a thumbs up, and then also subscribe so you can see all of my videos in the future. Alright, peace!